Hey guys, I'm Nitij and in this video, we will work on a project where we blend AI with React to build an AI powered spell checker using the ChatGPT APIs. So we will focus on integrating the ChatGPT API for real time text analysis and correction with our React frontend. Consider how applications like Grammarly or the spell checker in Microsoft Word improve writing. Well, today we are going to build a similar tool, but without using any kind of try based data structure in the backend. Instead, we will be using the chat GPT API. So by the end of this tutorial, you will have a functional AI powered spell checker, opening up numerous possibilities for your application development. But first, let me show you the demo what the final product is going to look like. This is an input where we can paste the text which we want to get a spell checked or checked for analysis for contextual errors. I'm just going to paste some text over here with lots and lots of spelling mistake and um, grammatical mistakes, etc. Now, when I have done that, I will simply click on this AI spell check button. You can see that the backend code that we have in our project has sent this text for analysis to the chat GPT API and it has returned to us a text which is now corrected with all the mistakes gone and it is now in correct flow as well. There might be issues with new lines not showing but that is related to how it is being rendered on the front end and not exactly an issue with the response that we are receiving from the backend chat GPT API. All right, so now let's get to the project where we will be implementing the backend code to call the API and then fetch the corrected spell checked response for incorrect text. So this is Visual Studio code and in this project, we have React in the front end and Firebase in the back end. Now with React, we already have a component set up for the input for the incorrect text and the button to submit the text. We also have the handle spell check function implemented where we are calling the backend function. Now I'm not going into too much details about how to call the backend Firebase functions because this video is going to focus on how to work with the chat GPT API and let it know that we need the text spelling and grammatical mistakes to be corrected. But just so you know, I will tell you what the flow over here is. First, we are getting the reference of the backend spell check function. Then we are defining the data that we need to send as an argument with the function. Then we are simply calling this function based on the Firebase's syntax. After that, we will receive the response in result.data.ai response property. And with that, we will set a state variable spell checked text, which is going to eventually render or show in this bottom div. Let's get started with writing the implementation details for the backend spell check function. Now all of this code is going to run in the Node.js environment. So it doesn't matter if you are not using the Firebase function as a backend, as long as you are using Node.js environment in any of the backend specification that you are using, you will be fine and this code is going to work for you. So the first thing that I'm going to do for this project is to install the OpenAI dependency. So for that, I'm just going to write CD functions because that is where our functions project is. And now I'm going to write npm install and then OpenAI. Now when OpenAI will be installed, then we can start to use it. So I'm just going to fetch the package dependency. So const OpenAI equals to require open AI. Okay, now before we continue further, I'm just going to give you a very small overview about how to call the API to get our text spell checked. So if you haven't already, you will need to create an account on the open AI's API platform. So I have already explained this process in another video. And I will share the link of that video in this video's description. Basically, you will need an API key. And then in the documentation, you can see how to quick start with the API. So all you need is to provide the messages 
with the role of system content and the user content and then you will need to call the api so this is the syntax of how we are going to do it we just need to first initialize an instance of open ai from the package which we have installed and then we need to call the completions.create function by providing the messages argument value and the model that we are going to use and then we are going to get the response in completion dot choices arrays first item so the model that we are going to use is going to be gpt 3.5 turbo because it is right now the fastest model and it doesn't take much to you know fix the spellings and grammar mistakes so it is really going to be an overkill to use the gpt4 model over here now let's get back to our code so the first thing over here that i will do is we will need the open ai's api key which you can generate in the dashboard so i'm going to paste the key which i have been using now the important thing with this entire setup is you cannot call the open ai api from the front end because you cannot expose this api key to any other users because your billing is associated with this key and if anyone else can get their hands on this api key then they can you know start to use the open ai's apis with this key and your billing is going to accumulate with all the usage all right next we need to initialize the open ai instance by calling new open ai and then we need to provide an options object which is going to have the api key value so api key is going to be open ai open ai api key and after that let's define our ai model as well which we will be using so the ai model that we will be using is going to be gpt 3.5 turbo and 1106 next let's define the messages that we will be sending along with the payload so const messages equals to the first message is going to be for the system so we have to specify the role of a system and then for the content we have to provide the context for the system so i'm going to write you are a helpful assistant who can correct spelling grammatical and uh, lexical errors now after this we need to provide another message but this time the role is going to be of the user so with user we are just going to give the instructions to the api model or the chat gpt model so i'm going to write correct the spelling actually let's convert this to a template string because we are going to embed the text within this template string so correct the spelling grammatical and lexical errors in this text and then let's provide the text over here which we have which we have declared over here as const text and now it's time to call the um, completions.create function so const completion equals to await open ai dot chat dot completions dot create and then we are going to provide the first the model name so model is going to be the ai model and the messages are the messages and now we can fetch the api response so const ai response equals to completion okay hold on completion dot choices arrays first item dot message dot content and then let's simply return the ai response with the return value and yeah that's pretty much everything i think we need to do and now it's time to run the project in the browser so to do that we will have to do two things first we will need to write or execute npm start for our react application and then we have to run this function as well but without hosting it 
or deploying it how can we start to use this firebase function and there is a way to do that and that is by simply emulating it so i have already written the emulation command in this project's package.json and i will simply execute it directly so npm run firebase emulate so i have made a mistake over here by running this npm start command in the wrong folder so i'm just going to press cd dot dot and then again try to execute npm start our firebase function has started emulating so now we can use the backend code that we were just writing so our project is running on localhost 3000 and let's paste the previous text that we used to test the spelling correction and let's now click on ai spell check and see if it's work or not okay so it seems that we have received the response and the incorrect spelling has now been corrected and yep it seems to be working just fine and that concludes our tutorial on creating an ai powered spell checker with react and the chat gpt api if you found this tutorial helpful then please give the video a like and share your thoughts or questions in the comments section remember the essence of coding lies in solving problems and innovating keep exploring new possibilities and for more tutorials and tech insights please subscribe to this channel finally thank you for watching and happy coding